Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you a journal that I've completed. Uh, it's a nice chunky one. Um, it's a clasp envelope and it's got one signature. Um, what paper did I use on this? The tsunami Rose, can't remember. <laughs> um, it measures eight and a half by just under six. And I've got some of this lovely um, rosette trim on the spine. I've uh, done some stitching around the, um, the envelope. And then I used, what did I do? I used uh, Vintage Photo Distress Ink and then I Mod Podged it all. Uh, this whole image uh, was a freebie from um, Andrea, who is Artie Mays. And she gave us this lovely image to, to, to use and it's gorgeous. Done some stickling around the flowers. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's that. Uh, on the back here is um, some paper from Tsunami Rose. And because I actually left the clasp envelope opened uh, this side, I done this the closure like this. So you can just wrap it around um, and tie it up or just kind of loop it through here and have it dangling. It's up to you. Uh, this will be listed on my Etsy if anyone's interested. So in the on the inside cover here, I've got um, an envelope, which is also a pocket. Uh, these tags and these stamps I just received today from Monique, who is still crafting on YouTube. Um, we've done a, a swap and she sent me some tags. So tags, she sent me some stamps. Uh, it says the book belongs to. This is just some cardstock. Um, and this is Tsunami Rose inside i've left some of the tails of of the um thread can be cut off if you wish there isn't loads on this one um so i've got tags these little um circle images are on my etsy as a digital download and i just um stickled them up and put them on the tag uh done some stitching these were some free images uh this is tsunami rose and this is an oval tag there's stamping and stenciling throughout and lots and lots of space to journal as well. Um, these tickets here are from uh, Artie Mays. Uh, this is Tsunami Rose. Just made this envelope um, and this is actually one of mine, one of my digital um, downloads on Etsy uh, as part of, was it one thing I can't remember? Um, is it part of a kit? I really can't remember. I actually never use my own stuff, it's terrible. Um, so I did thought, right, I've got to start using this. I'm seeing everyone else use it, so um, fussy cut that out, put some stickles on there. Um, this is actually Inca Gold on there. This is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, just a large index card. And it just all tucks in there like so. A really and a half page. It's got some ephemera. Some of it's been stitched. Some of it hasn't. That flips up, flips down. Uh, these pages were I obviously printed them out. Um, there was stuff that I've had in my stash. Um, printed them out, and they were a little bit smaller. But I've seen lots of other people do um, use smaller printable pages within the journal and I thought well, it actually looks really good so I'm going to start doing that rather than making them the same size uh, more stamping and stenciling this is Tsunami Rose here we've just got some library tickets this is from Sue Olsen and done some stitching on the tag not sure if you can see that and these corner ones all flip up. Uh, some more ephemera from Tsunami Rose. And this is from Christy Art Designs, I believe. <clears throat> Could be wrong. It flips up, flips down, some stitching around here. And some more ephemera. This is an envelope from Artie Mays. There's nothing inside it, but it has been coffee dyed on the back. Um, <clears throat> this was just something I found online. 
and tag that's been stitched. The tails are on there. <clears throat> I've used my jelly bean soup dye and just put on some scrapbooking paper and a ticket and a butterfly. This was just some embossed paper that I had and I backed it onto some cardstock. Um, that can be inked up, it can be written on the back of. Um, I did actually link that in my last one of my last videos. Um, I can't remember the name of the Etsy seller now. I think it's something like Nostalgia Art Graffiti or, or could be wrong, something like that. Um, that's where they came from. that's where that come from. Uh, stitched envelope, copy dotted paper, and a tag. Centre of signature. Here I just made a little booklet, done some stamping, put some trim along there. That's just another one of those. This is just some ephemera from Tsunami Rose. Some more ephemera, an envelope from uh, Artie Mays. This is from Artie Mays. Actually, I tell lies, this is from Artie Mays as well. <clears throat> There we go, popped it in there. Love this um, image, the papers, they're just really nice, very vintage and lots of places to journal. This is Sue Olsen, Tsunami Rolls, I just coffee dyed it and it's folded in half. Um, I can't remember, I think that's Tsunami Rolls as well. That flips up. Flips down, and I've got that cotton coat in there, so I will just take my scissors and I will snip that down. So that's that. Here are some of the smaller tickets, and I've just done the same as a top tuck here. Another um, one of those envelopes, and on the back, this little heart there, and a large. Do you know what? I was actually quite annoyed. Um, I've cut these down now, but the original size of these are advertising for 5x8, and they're not 5x8 at all. Um, I've been buying them for ages as well, thinking they were, and it does, I actually checked, and it says 5x8 jumbo index card, and they are, they're not 8 inches, um, they are about 7 and, <coughs> just over 7 and a half. False advertising, but they're perfect for what I need them for, so I'm going to stop whinging. Uh, some more ephemera, another one of these from Christy Art Designs. Flip up, flip down, that's Cameo Shop. It's another envelope, and this is from the kit A Rose From You. Just a belly band there. And a tag, some ephemera, this is Artie Mays, and another one of these circle tags from my shop. You see the sparkle on there, and the stickles. And that all just pops in there, and that is the back. This I have just left, and you can things inside there. I don't I normally just glue them down but I didn't on this one. So that is this journal and I've got another one to show you which I will do in a separate video. Um, so you can do that and loop it round like that which I quite like. So that is that one and I'm going to come back and share this one with you in another video. So um, if you have any questions um, about this one you can ask it will be listed on my etsy so the links will be below and i will speak to you all soon bye